Oh, I'm already filming. Hey, hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today, I'm going to be doing a lip product ranking um, in my collection. Recently, I have brought in a lot of makeup and I have noticed that my lip collection is really lacking. <laughs> um, there's not a lot that I really love and I am consistently reaching for the same four things over and over again. I only have 10 products and they're all about the same tone. So we're gonna get into it, um, formulations, colors, why I pick something over something else. And what I would like this video to be is a starting point for me to grow my lip collection because I feel out of everything that I have, lip products are where I lack the most. I don't have any lip liners. I don't, I, it's just something that is an afterthought to me as far as my makeup routine goes. So I'm coming to you with nothing but lip oil on that I will wipe off, but I'm going to do lip swatches of every product. And if that sounds interesting to you, please subscribe, like the video, and we'll get into it right now. I'm going to start at the bottom. Now, this lipstick is the color Candy Floss from Mellow. You wouldn't know that because I've had it so long that the actual writing has, it's gone. It's just, it's just gone. <laughs> um, I got this in a Ipsy and it is a bullet lipstick that is like fuchsia. It's fuchsia. Um, I reach for this absolutely never. Um, you can just see how much I still have in the tube. I, I don't really use it. Formula is nice. I just, the only time I ever reach for this is when I'm having a mental breakdown. It's just, look at that. <laughs> See, pigment is nice. It's creamy, it's a nice formula, it doesn't bleed. It's really cool toned. <laughs> I, I just don't wear this. I feel like I look crazy right now, but I I wear this when I am the most stressed. Like this is my peak stress color. I'm not gonna keep it though. I, even though it is something that is comforting to me in that moment, just to, to slap on my face and have a moment, <laughs> I don't, I don't think that it serves a purpose in my collection other than that. It is 10 out of 10 out of the products that I have. And you can obviously see why. It isn't a wearable color. It doesn't even, it's honestly throwing off my makeup so much. Ugh, okay, I need to take this off. I need to take this off. Number nine is this Wet n Wild Liquid Catsuit, the matte lipstick in the shade Give Me Mocha. And if you've been with me long enough, you know that this used to be one of my all-time favorite lips. My favorite lips, my favorite shades, formula to, to wear. As my collection has expanded, as I've done, oh, that smells like paint. Better. Mm. As I have grown my collection and done my makeup and have experimented more, I reach for this less and less less and less. I'm just having a, a struggle bus of, of talking today. Um, and the reason is, is just because it's just not, not a formula I like to babysit anymore. It looks good when it initially goes on. Absolutely one of my favorite colors on me. It's not as opaque as you think it's going to be. And the more you work with it, and the more you add to get it opaque, the it the product starts to lift itself. But if you go in with a second coat, you're gonna get a little bit more opaqueness, but it might start lifting in some places. As you can see, this is like, it looks more red on camera, at least from what I can see, it looks more red. It's, it's a lot, movier it's a lot more neutral of like a brownie red in person than it is coming off on camera from what I can see but this is it 
and when you add a second layer it gets sticky you can see that right so it's just not something I feel like babysitting anymore the color is beautiful and I'll probably always be chasing this color but it's just not a formula like I said I don't want to babysit it anymore I really like no fuss products when it comes to my lips because by the time I get to my lips it's my last step in my routine by the time I get to my lips I don't want something that I'm gonna have to think about I went through a stage where I would powder this but I just I don't want the fuss I don't want the fuss so it is ranked 9 out of 10 and that is why next number 8 is this plump potion from Physician's Formula. It's the Needle Free Lip Plumping Cocktail. Does this have a shade? Uh, pink Crystal Potion. This is what it looks like. It's just like an iridescent pinky um, plumping gloss. It is a really good plumping gloss. I do like it. Um, it's a little bit painful, but the issue I have with this, besides the fact that it doesn't really go with it, you can't see me, um, besides the fact that it doesn't really go with everything, every look that I do, um, is this right here. Why? 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 Why is this a brush tip that you have to shove back in and get the freaking bristles all splayed out? It's just... I hate it. I hate it so much. And I've used a significant amount of this. You can see there's like a huge, maybe you can see. There's like a, a big air bubble in there because I've used it a lot. And when the gloss dissipates and you're just left with like evaporates or you eat it, you do have some sparkle left on your lips and it's just like glitter on your lips glitter lips so um this is it it does a really nice plumping it's not too painful it's one of the icy ones it's a menthol-y kind of minty one there's just always been something that i didn't like about this i don't know if it's because it's pink or if i would just rather have just a clear non colored lip gloss with shimmer i don't know I reach for this fairly often, but I reach for everything more than this. So I couldn't rank it really any higher than I did. How do people do lip swatches of entire collections? It's beyond me. Well, I let that lip oil sit for a minute. I'm gonna talk about this one. This is the, I still have the sticker on it. I got it for $1.80 at a Big Lots in indiana and i've had this for two years now this is 90s baby i love the shade this is the rimmel i don't know if i said the the only one lipstick um i don't like this formula it's too creamy and really shiny like really shiny um i love the color though i love the color and that is important to me i really like making sure that I like the color, but I don't reach for it because it bleeds in my lines. And the pigment tends to gather as it wears. So I don't reach for it. So this is 90s baby and I've used it actually. Oh my gosh. I'm surprised I have that much. I use it. I used to use it religiously all the time. I always wore it. I'm honestly shocked. I must get a lot of product then. Okay, you can just see how reflective that is. I just... If this was in a more matte color, or a more matte formula, it would, it would easily be my number three pick. But it's just, you can see how slippy and shiny it is. It's really hard to control where it goes and it just it just see it's already starting to bleed and gather it's just not not a formula for me so that 
is where that one ranks. I should have gotten something that wasn't so weird. This is probably why my lips are dying. Cause I'm uh, using that tissue, a paper towel, a rough paper towel. But yeah, I just always think that my lips look messy when I wear this and that, that's not the look I'm going for. I like a messy eye look. I like messy hairdo. But I don't like a messy lip look. So it's just not a formula that has ever been for me. Next is this. We are on six and 10. So we're towards the ones that I pull for pretty regularly. This is the shade Felicia. This is the full spectrum CoverGirl gloss idol. It is a Movie gloss. The applicator is okay. It's a really small uh, It's really small it doesn't deposit too much But again It's just something about this color is too pigmented for this formula and I always feel When I wear it that I just have a really messy lip look and not it's not what I'm going for if I want something that is going to bleed outside the lines I want something that is going to blur the outside of my lines and with this having so much pigment it's not and not staying put it's not something that I reach for a lot I reach for it when I'm doing like a really vampy look this is like my go-to and it makes the lines of my it doesn't accentuate the lines of my lip lips it doesn't bleed too much but it just bleeds just enough to make it look like I don't know what I'm doing with my lips and that's not at all what I'm looking for so I don't really reach for it um, unless I'm doing like a very specific like dark look I usually will pull that one that one in the next one when I'm doing like blue smoky eyes and stuff because I really like blue with a deep berry lip next is I think the oldest lip product in my collection and I should probably get rid of it I should smell it I should smell it because it's the oldest lip in my collection I've had this since I was in college Yeah, no, it doesn't smell. Did I get something on my nose? No, I didn't. No, I didn't. This is the Kissable Liquid Lipstick Matte in... Does this have a shade? Oh, Matte About Mauve. Or Matte About Move. Uh, Koki. It's the Koki one. I got this from the Walmart in my college town with my best friend. When I was first getting into lipstick or makeup, really, and I love this formula. It's what I imagine the lip clays from Kaleidos to be like. Maybe a little bit more slippy, but it's just a really nice formula. It doesn't bleed. I usually will reach for this color. This over the full spectrum gloss that I just was talking about. This sets down a tad. It's easier for me to control. And if I get outside of my lip lines because it's matte with this color, um, it doesn't look as messy. I know my bottom lip looks kind of messy right now, but that is honestly probably because of me wiping off five lipsticks before this. This is exactly the halfway point it's still something that I reach for and I can easily blend the edges and because it's matte if I'm ever doing something really deep this is what I am what I'm going for instead of that gloss it does have a little bit of tack to it but not anywhere <laughs> not anywhere near the liquid cat suit so this is mad about mauve you can see that I like specific colors, but 
I am always doing the same lip look. That's why I'm reaching for the same one thing over and over again, or the same few things over and over again, because I have such a small collection. All of the colors are so similar. I am going to be swatching all of these. Hopefully I will have inserts for you. Um, no, I will have inserts for you so you can see them swatched out next to each other so you can see kind of how they look in different lighting. So, but this is the Kissable Liquid Lipstick. And it's a really good formula. I really do like it a lot. And it does have a little bit of shine to it, even when it does dry down. So it's not completely matte, which I enjoy as well. But it is something that has, is a little more berry and a little more red than my next four. My next four are a little more pink, a little more neutral, and just colors I reach for more. I have two lipsticks and two glosses in my top four, and honestly, out of everything that I own, these are the four that I'm constantly reaching for. I do use the other ones that I've talked about, but it's not as often as I'm reaching for these four that I'm about to be talking about. So this is the Rimmel, and this is the only one matte lipstick so the 90s baby one that was lower in my ranking that is the only one lipstick this is the matte version of this and this is trendsetter and i think this one is the lowest oh my gosh i still have that much left it's more of a mauve neutral color and this formula is okay I mainly just, um, I usually don't wear it by itself because I mean it's kind of light for me. I will usually put the gloss that I'm about to talk about on top of this, but it's just a little too milky for me to wear on its own and not opaque enough so the natural color of my lips shine through and they just don't mesh well together so I use this one a lot and I like the formula of it a lot but I'm always topping it with the gloss that is next so I will put that on for you now and as far as it being a matte formula it's really not it says that it is it says that it's the one and only matte lipstick it just has a little less slip than the 90s baby just the regular lipstick but by no means is it matte. By no means. It's more of a satin. Yeah, it's more of a satin. I wouldn't call this matte at all. Okay, and this is the other full spectrum gloss, gloss idol that I have in Blessed. And it's a mauve pink color. And this is what I wear on top of Trendsetter. There are times where I wear this on its own. But that's pretty rare. So that's blessed. I feel like it's looking a lot more pink because my lips underneath it are a little more um, pigmented than normal because of all of the wiping. But the formula is nice. It's not too sticky. Sometimes it, not every time. So I don't really know why. But sometimes it does have the white, the white things of death that everybody refers to. Um, I don't get that with the darker color, so it is probably just because of the fact that this color is a lot more milky of a shade, but beautiful. They, these two colors in particular are beautiful together, and I will, I, again, I will show you the swatches of them separately as well as on top of each other, so you can see kind of what I'm talking about, but it's my perfect, like, not, it's not my perfect. It's perfect with what I have. I feel like the reason why I'm doing this lip collection is because I'm wanting to talk through my thoughts on all of the lip products that I have, their formulas, why I reach for them, and their kind of pitfalls. And when I say that this is, those two lip products together are my perfect like pinky glossy lip, perfect for my collection. They are by no means 
my favorite. I If I didn't have anything, if I lost this entire lip collection, the, I wouldn't be repurchasing them. Like they're not my perfect lip products. Um, the next two I probably would repurchase. I do really like these. So I'm going to take this off and rub the 500th layer of skin off of my lips. This, I was influenced by Samantha March to try this. This is the um, Wet and Wild. Uh, this is matte one. Uh, does it have a name? The Wet and Wild. It has a shade name, but I thought there was a product name. Okay, well the shade is just Mochalicious. And this is my favorite. This is the matte one. They did, they did a relaunch of their lipsticks two years ago, one year ago, I don't remember. It was either one or two years ago. It wasn't very long ago. But they relaunched um, their matte and their like uh, regular lipsticks. And I was in, I was searching so much for a better formula of the Give Me Mocha shade because like I said, that was my favorite like brownie nude on me. This formula is just so nice. If I'm going for like a really deep color, it's like a neutral brown, leaning red. It looks a lot more red because of my lips right now, but it's stiff, it's creamy, it's opaque. I don't feel like it ble I don't feel like it bleeds and it doesn't settle into my lips either. I don't feel like it looks messy. It doesn't feather. I didn't say that already. I really like brownie reds on me. So, even when I rub my lips together and it transfers on top, it doesn't transfer feathered or like less opaque, if you know what I mean. Like usually when you rub your lips together and you have like a really opaque lipstick or a really opaque red and you get it outside the lines, it looks like messy, like it, it doesn't do that. So I really like this. I feel went the wrong way. I always feel really like edgy and angry and like when I wear this lip color. So I just, I love this. I love this color so much. It just has so much attitude and uh, it's just one of my favorites. It, like I said, these top two are probably the only things in my collection that I would repurchase if I lost everything out of all 10 products. It's a thick formula, so there is a little bit of tact, but this one does dry down a significant amount. It's not cracking or anything. It's pretty comfortable, actually, but uh, when you first apply it, it is thick. It has a little bit of, a little bit stick, but not really anything to be shied away from if you were interested in this formula yeah it's definitely some um a drugstore lipstick that i would consider buying more shades from so there's that the last product in my product ranking i was inspired by nisi of nisi pizza's um channel um to do this I never take the, the stickers off of my products. I should do that. Um, this is the Milani Keep It Full Nourishing Lip Plumper. I have Rosewood. It is a neutral pinky mauve with some shimmer. And it is a gorgeous, gorgeous gloss. I love the formula of it. I love the feeling of it. It has a nice thick dofa. Dofa. It is just gorgeous. It fills in my lip lines really nice. It has a really nice shine. It has enough color, but it's not completely opaque. And the shimmer in this is a lot finer than the Physician's Formula Lip Plumper. So I don't feel this after it's dissipated. And it's a nice thin gloss so if I got it out of my lines it's not going to show that lip bump like the other glosses do. It's magic. 
it is a, a mint lip plumper as well it's not a spicy one it's a cooling one which is my preference everybody has their own lip plumper preferences but yeah this is my go-to lip that I always reach for no matter what <laughs> sometimes I mix and match but like I said I am really looking to expand and tweak, refine my collection. Knowing what I like, I'm pretty split, I think, between glosses and like a, a comfortable matte lipstick. I have a idea of where I want my lip collection to go. I want to have and use stuff that I like using and I like having and I want to have a more curated collection of lip products. And these were, a lot of these were purchases that I was, they, I weren't, I was not making these purchases in the mindset of this product or this color is really for me. Or I've heard people rave about this, I wanna try it. like. The Wet n Wild, the Rimmels, the CoverGirl, like those are all products that I bought when I was really depressed. <laughs> like really depressed. I just want to have more joy when I look at my lip collection and that's just not something I have right now. The whole reason I got inspired to film this video was this collection right here from Buxom. These four lip glosses and the lip swatches. I have never ever felt feelings for a lip collection. I just haven't. It's just not my um, makeup category that really makes me excited. Blush, absolutely. I love blush. I love um, palettes. I don't buy a lot of palettes, but I do love um, quite a bit of new releases. But lip, lip products, no. Couldn't even blink. Couldn't even bat an eye at them. Don't care. This lip collection made me feel so strongly that I was like, I, I, I need to own this so bad. I haven't ordered it. I have not ordered these yet. But I wanted to go through my collection first and talk about what I have in my collection, what I pull for my, what I pull for in my collection, and what I think about my products, my colors, my formulas, because I don't want to buy things out of that emotional want or need I really want to um, be thoughtful about what I'm going to be bringing in to boost up my lip collection I don't know if that's the correct way to word it but that is how I'm gonna word it that those buxom colors that rich chocolatey brown those like pinky mauve colors I just, hmm. And then everybody says that the Pat McGraths are really good. And so I've been looking at those. I know that I like gloss. So as far as glosses go, I would like to bring in no more than four to five glosses. At least one clear gloss. And then the other four to five can be colored. So that is my goal as far as glosses go. Lipstick, probably five, four or five. Uh, matte, probably, and then maybe even three to four. Because as far as the kissable liquid lipstick, I don't consider it a gloss and I don't consider it a lipstick. I really would like to try the Kaleido Slip Clays, so I might, I might pick up that bundle. And then, as far as other lip products, I really want I really want to get some lip liners. I, I really want to get some lip liners that work for me and work for the colors that I'm going to be bringing in. So I think that will probably be the last last thing that I tackle is lip liners. But 
by the end of the year or by the beginning of the year, I want to have a more well-rounded lip collection with formulas that I like and that it's some it's hard for me to pick something. Like I want it to be hard for me to pick what I want to wear on my lips because right now I'm only I'm only picking for two things. Two to three things. At all, ever. And I want to like my lip collection more. Like so that is where I'm starting from. That is why I made this video. Um if you guys have any lip suggestions, glosses, lipsticks, lip liners, liquid lipsticks, put them down below in the comments. I'd love to chat about whatever you guys are loving and I will see you guys in the next one. Bye.